Hey guys, Noise Boy here, and I'm back with another boss fight video, and this is Amygdala. Uh, to start with, um, items to bring. Um, if you can buff your weapon with fire, they'll do a, a fair bit of damage to her. Um, but that's probably all I really suggest for this fight. She's not too bad. Um, pretty much what you want to do if you have like a, if you're a strength build with like a, the um, holy lugwig blade or whatever it's called with like an overhead slash, you should be able to just turn this, uh, turn this boss into mincemeat. Um, watch for these visceral attacks here. This is pretty much a bread and butter, especially in, um, his first form he comes in three forms so uh it's not a not a really hard fight I didn't really do very well on this one but um I usually just try and stay back and try and bait her into moving down like that but just remember too when she gets her head off the ground just to really try to backtrack otherwise you get hit just like that um as you can see I didn't really do much to her I already took off like a quarter of her life and then she hits that second form where she pops these little arms out of her back same thing as the last form, you just get it a bait on that slamming attack then and just go for the head or the hands if you miss, but just remember to quickly roll out as you get hit by that like I did. I didn't really do this one very good at all. Um, if you do enough damage to her hand or head, she will come down and crouch down and you can smash her with a visceral attack, which is pretty much what I'm trying to bait her up to do. Um, just try to get her hands level to the ground so I can smack her. We've all seen that beam before, I just find that if you run around, pretty easy to dodge. You're trying to bait in that slamming attack, that's what you're trying to look for. If you get too far away she hits you with acid, which isn't too bad. This one here, um, it's just a little, little, almost like a scattergun kind of move where you just shoot you with those little uh, shots there. Pretty easy to dodge as well. So you can see there she goes down with her head down, that's pretty much what you're trying to look for. Try not to stay too far away from her when she does them. As soon as you do those you know those sweeping attacks you're trying to bait out but just don't be like me and uh, try to get greedy with your attacks you know and it's also this attack to try to stay out of range getting close because sometimes or in, especially in her second and third form she uh, you know recovers that uh, move real quick so you can pretty much just backstep really with those ones um, you don't have to but uh, like I said before her reach isn't really that good when it comes to those little slamming down energy blast kind of thing so again just try to beat him in it's just her third form I had the most drums with but like I said before I didn't really uh, make myself look very good in this battle this was my second attempt in my walkthrough but my um, first attempt was like really really easy um, but she got me anyway here's that acid attack I was uh, telling you about I just suggest just running around try not to get yourself cornered by those little beams and just go over the head or the hands if you can Again, don't get greedy like me and try to get a second hit in. That's what you're looking for, this one here. Try to beat that and smash her head if you can. And when you hear that sound for the visceral, get it on her. That's pretty much the bread and butter right there. I should have gone for her hands there to try and finish her off, but it didn't quite work. And then in her third form, she pretty much rips her own arms off. I think the real problem with this one was... Those sweeping attacks, they hit you, but they, they stagger you. They don't actually knock you over. That's pretty much what you're looking for, that, uh... Oh, shit. That's lucky that didn't kill me. Um, if she jumps in the air like that, just make it like a, a last-minute effect. I actually had a lot of dramas in her, her final form. I don't know why. I try to get under her to attack her legs, but that doesn't work, so... Don't do that. If she's in her third form, try not to uh, attack her legs. I'm pretty sure she does about three of those. That's when you got to kind of get and stay out. Um, stay out at a distance. And then when she slams down, I'm pretty sure it's like three or four, you know, slamming attacks. This one here. She does like one big one just like that. But then she does another one where it's just like a few smaller ones. That's pretty much what you're trying to bait. See here, I try to hit her legs. But you can see I was only doing 10, 11, 12 damage, which is pretty shit. But, uh... Yeah, like I said before, if you can get her to come down low just like that, I should have attacked her there, but I didn't. But you, you can actually see that her head gets lower and lower the more she does those attacks, so... Wait for this one, roll. I don't know why I was attacking her legs for, but... 
like I said before, these strength builds with your overhead attacks, you know, should be able to put it down pretty easy. I just made it look hard. It's not hard at all. Oh, shit, they got me good. That's the one you want to look for. That's the one where she stays down the longest in her last form. This one's pretty easy. I don't know why I had so much dramas in that last one, but, you know, anyway, those are my tips. I didn't do very well, but, uh, hey, it doesn't matter, does it? Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Remember to dodge those attacks. Visceral attacks do a lot of damage with this guy. Try to get in close and just smash her up. Anyway, guys, if you like this, give me those likes, comment, and maybe even subscribe. And as always, guys, stay noisy.